In this video tutorial, we are going to be using Python's turtle module to create ourselves a cool pattern on the screen known as a spirograph. We're going to be using circles to create this spirograph. And if you don't know what a spirograph is, simply wait five minutes and we'll have one made so you can see what it is then. Okay, so to get started today, we're just going to say from turtle, import everything. So on the first line, from turtle import everything so use the asterisk key to say everything that's importing all the functions from the turtle library once we've got that written we're going to set up a few page properties so we'll just set the speed to zero so it draws our spirograph very quickly set the bg color to black and we're going to change our pen size set it to two this time all right now that we've got our page all set up, what we're going to do next is we're going to create the spirograph itself. So we're going to say for colors in. And we're going to create a list here. And we're going to list off all the colors we want the circles to be in our spirograph. So make sure you put quotation marks around each of these colors and put a comma in between them just to separate them from one another. So we've got red, magenta, blue, cyan green, yellow, and white. Don't forget to put a closing square bracket at the end and a colon to open this loop up. So this loop is basically going to draw circles and it's going to draw a red circle first, then a magenta, then a blue, then a cyan. It just keeps running through this list of colors until it's drawn all seven different colors. Okay, so inside of this loop, let's start drawing the circles. The first thing we need to do is we just need to set a color for the circle. So spell color the American way and then put in the colors variable that we created on the line above. Then we're going to draw a circle by simply writing the word circle and setting the radius to 100. And we're going to swing to the left 10 degrees every time we draw a circle. It's going to help it make this spirograph shape, which you'll see in a moment what it does. Okay, let's test that. It's not finished, but let's test it. You need to save it first of all, so just call it Circle Spirograph. And give it a run. Okay, so you can see what it's done here is it's drawn seven circles using these colors. So you've got red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, yellow, and white. So it just ran straight through that list and drew those seven colors. Each time it drew a circle, remember it was turning to the left 10 degrees. So they weren't drawing straight on top of each other. They were just overlapping slightly. Okay, what we want to do to complete this spirograph is make it go all the way around in a big circle there. So we're going to need to repeat all of this code probably, I don't know, five or six times. So it's just a bit of trial and error here. Let's create a for loop and we'll say for i in range six and put a colon and press enter um, don't forget you need to indent this for loop and you need to indent what's underneath that for loop so we're going to repeat that circle well that was seven circles we just drew we're going to repeat it another six times so we're going to end up with about 42 circles on the page by the time this is done so let's give it a run and see what happens there you go, that looks good. And that's a spirograph right there. It's a pretty cool pattern. A bit hard to see, but right in the middle there, we've still got our little object, which is the turtle, that draws your shapes. So what we might do in our code is just hide turtle, bracket, bracket, just to get rid of it. If that wasn't bothering you, you don't have to hide the turtle, but it's, I think it's good practice just to hide the turtle at the end of each of your apps. All right, so let's just run it one last time. We should see the turtle disappear at the end. So that was pretty cool. That's how you draw yourself a circular spirograph using Python code.